What's going on? This is Jeffrey Marr. I'm here in my living room in Canada. And today, what I want to talk to you about is what's going through your mind when you're on psychedelic drugs. So this is something uh, in terms of self-exploration, self-development, self-discovery. This is something that people say is one of the most substantial events in their life. I want to just educate us on uh, what's exactly going on. Because if you were to, for example, uh, do psychedelic drugs, which I'm not condoning, whatsoever, but if you were to take psilocybin or uh, LSD, one of the things about them is you could potentially find out that there was something, um, I don't know, you could panic, you could be like, oh, what's going on, but um, psychedelic drugs have been known to reduce um, sort of your ego, your sense of separateness with the world, they've been known to uh, pretty much give you new insights, new thoughts about life, it's a, a very powerful tool, but I wanted to talk to you about what's actually happening in your brain because you can panic, you can freak out, and um, no one has ever died from psychedelics. Like, you can't really overdose uh, because you won't die. However, if you do a lot, you will go into another dimension and you'll, you'll feel like you're dead. So uh, it, it's easy to panic and freak the fuck out. So I figured, I figured just having this video where I explain sort of what's happening in your brain when you're on these drugs uh, will help you to sort of understand why, if you're freaking out when you're on these drugs, you'll kind of be able to think back to this and be like, oh yeah, that helps, that's, that's helpful for me. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What is happening in your brain when you're on drugs is, okay, we have a thing uh, in our prefrontal cortex called the default mode network. And this is essentially what is responsible for helping figure out what the meaning of things in the past is, what's going on in the future, it's where we worry, it's sort of our, our autopilot, what our behaviors that we kind of fall into immediately are. The default mode network is in charge of where our brains go when we're not really doing anything. So if we're doing stuff that we, we've done a bunch of times, like it's a, it's a habit, it's on default mode, we don't need to think about it too much, this part is activated. And what this actually does, they found that when you take psychedelic drugs, it actually completely silences. So depending on how much you take, obviously. But if you take a big dose of LSD, for example, you will have uh, almost a complete shutdown of this part of your brain. So it'll just disintegrate. It's gone. With the default mode network, it's pretty much allowing your brain to talk to other parts of your brain. And it's like, it's like kind of acts as a filter. Like, all right, this doesn't need to talk to this. This doesn't need to talk to that. We're going to keep everything separated because there's no reason for our, um, like, this part to talk to this part, you know? But once that's shut down, all those parts of the brain can talk to each other. And it results in something called, I believe it's a high temperature search. Psychedelic drugs are bringing you to the brain strength of a five-year-old. So a five-year-old or lower, babies, children, they do not have a part in their brain default no mode network is not built up yet so if they were to say look for something or solve a problem they're not going to put together like okay this problem in the past has worked maybe this is the most logical way they're thinking outside of the box because they understand that almost any kind of possibility could be the right answer this is a way of solving problems that results in uh, completely dumb ideas a lot of the time completely inefficient it's Amazing. Some of the most profound insights have been found with these uh, high temperature searches. They take a lot of energy. They're really hit and miss. It makes you kind of think of magical, magical thoughts like, oh, maybe, maybe magic or like a witch could, could solve this problem. You know, it's like, well, I don't even have an example for this, but yeah, essentially it, uh, it leads to more magical, magical solutions to problems and it's very inefficient and it's very time consuming, but they found that these high temperature searches, when adults who already have a developed default mode network shut that down and they start looking at every other possibility, they're able to think outside of the box, they're able to sort of build on uh, new possibilities that they never would have been able to consider without it. So this is sort of what goes down in your brain when you are on psychedelic drugs. Your default mode network shuts down and then all the parts of your brain are able to talk. So if you're panicking, if you're freaking out, you're like, oh my god, like, am I dying, blah, blah, blah. It's actually your sense of self is disintegrating because that's where your ego gets put together. Don't panic. It just means you got to let go. Like You're still holding on to that ego. So just 
let go, it's going to be okay, and then you're going to come out the other side with a lot of cool insights about yourself, about the world, about what you should do. I mean, a lot of people when they're on these psychedelic drugs, they come out and they're like, oh, I should eat healthier, I should go out in nature more, you know, like simple, simple things that you never really think of, but they're actually very profound if you're in the right headspace. It'll help change all of those default, default processes you have in your brain because it's shutting down the default mode network, which is responsible for kind of like doing things like it's like sorting out the grooves in your life and you're just kind of going down this trail. Where did I learn about this? I learned about this through two books recently. The main one is How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan and the second one is Catching Fire by someone. I'm not sure who it is. I'll put the link in the description but these are both excellent books especially How to Change Your Mind is all about sort of the benefits that psychedelics can have on depression, on fear of death, on addiction. It covers a, an aspect of life which is sort of taboo, which is psychedelic drugs, except it discusses it in a way where it's uh, from a credible source. Michael Pollan has wrote so many books that have been uh, well received, he's been on the New York Times bestselling list, he's pretty much exploring this world of psychedelics. It's sort of like you're going through it with him because he doesn't know everything about it, right? So he's uh, he's learning it, he's learning the history, he talks about the history of it, he talks about what his trips were like, he talks about all the benefits that people are finding, like why did all these programs get shut down, um, because LSD, psilocybin, um, these these drugs especially have had a lot of an MDMA as well, but it's not necessarily a psychedelic in the, the purest sense, but these drugs had a shit ton, shit ton of promise, but then the government shut them all down, made them illegal, class one, uh, no one can touch them, right, and something that they did for 30, 40 years, uh, and just now there's starting to be a resurgence because the government is frankly in a tough spot because depression pills aren't working. SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which is what they give you when you have depression, and it um, is supposed to sort of regulate your mood. They found uh, they were very effective when they came out, but now they're sort of at a point where they're just slightly better than a placebo. The government is now giving some trial runs for psilocybin, for, for LSD to just try stuff out, and they're seeing a lot of good results. So LSD is able to pretty much help people with depression, it's able to help people who have a, like a, a fatal diagnosis, like they're going to die of cancer in a couple months, they're able to help them uh, become okay with their impending death. If you are tripping, uh, if you are sort of panicking, like, oh my god, am I the first person to die from LSD, from, from psilocybin? Am I going to die from this? It may feel like it, but that's actually just your ego dying, and it's, uh, it's just your default mode network shutting down. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm going to, uh, I've been, I've been shit. I've been shit at making these videos, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it right now. I'm going to come out with these videos. You let me know what you want to see. I'm going to be traveling as, uh, I'll be going to Budapest shortly. So I'm going to be doing some travel videos. I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to com combine like travel plus self-development and we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. And then let me know what books you want to see reviews of and I will see you later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I guess if I had to choose one, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. And then, outside of that, I want you to tell me what you want to see and let me know. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.